We are back on Inside Politics. Our guest today, Representative uh, Jeremy Faison from Upper East Tennessee, from the um, Cobb County. Up there in Upper East Tennessee. Um, you're the sponsor of the medical marijuana, the cannabis only bill this mm -hmm. year. Um, one of the things we talked about earlier, there was a legislative study last year in both houses. Is that, is, did that sort of turn the corner on getting legislators to understand exactly what this bill is and what it isn't? Absolutely. We brought in professionals from all around America, scientists and doctors, and they provided us a foundation of why this is the right thing to do. And there were several legislators that came to that and watched it, watched it online, and they were moved. Like my friend, Dr. And you've Brown. brought people to committee hearings to let oh, people absolutely. Who, who want this to happen and the people that are suffering for it and can't get absolutely. the help. When you are exposed to the truth, and if you have an open eye and an open ear, and you're exposed to the truth of what this plant can do, you get on board. It's the right thing. Now, I understand you made a trip to Colorado, a state that not only has medical marijuana mm -hmm. treatments, but also has recreational marijuana. Was that part of this study, and what did it you was. learn in Colorado? It was. I, I, actually, I've traveled to several states. I've been to Arizona, I've been to California, I've been to Alaska, and I've been to Colorado, studying what they've done, trying to glean from them what is good, what's bad, what works, what doesn't work. And overwhelmingly, what I learned is God gave us this plant for a reason. There's some very sick people who can benefit greatly from it. And why in the world would we as a legislature or we as a state deny these sick people access to this plant? Is your bill a model bill? Is it based on what is happening in, in Colorado? Is it based on their bill or based on what the law is in other states? No, my, our bill is a Tennessee bill. There are some ideas that we got from New York's original bill. Uh, it's very tightly drawn to keep um, l law enforcement. See, if, if you get caught with the raw part of this flower or of this plant it's still illegal we're not making it's called flower we're not making that legal in Tennessee we're making only oil based products so a derivative of what not the actual right the actual no you can use the oil you can use the oil but a derivative is, is sort of of that plant itself. right uh, that's the, plant. the oil that's pressed from the seed so uh, you know one thing that we need to realize in Tennessee is that two-thirds of the population of America I just let that sink in for a minute two-thirds of the population of America have access to this plant and we have a contiguous state, Arkansas, right down here to our southwest, who has access to this plant. When are we going to get in line and realize it's coming to America? Why don't we set up a correct foundation in Tennessee so we can have a Tennessee-based product that's regulated and safe and is the right thing? Let me talk politics for you. This is an election year you're mm -hmm. trying to push this bill through. Uh, what I think I'd probably hear from a lot of your Republican colleagues is they're scared to death that they vote yes for this bill. They're going to get a an opponent, a strong opponent in their Republican primary in August. Is that the biggest fear you have to overcome Unfo along with them not understanding the bill? Well, that's a portion of it. Unfortunately, I've seen the polls. It would help them to be for this. But why this is important... Yeah, but that's a hard thing to convince people because they don't want an opponent. Well, they'll, they'll see the numbers soon. But let's, let's talk about why this is important right now. I believe this is our last chance in Tennessee to get it right. And the, people say, what do you mean our last chance? We're fixing to have a governor's race. The governor, the new governor, is going to be too scared the first year to do anything controversial, if you will. We have a potential of 40 new legislators coming in. There's 35 declared already. They, some of us are going to lose. So 40 new legislators, potentially, they won't do anything. By the time the first governor, this new governor, and this new legislature gets their feet wet, they won't do anything the first General Assembly. It'll be three years from now. By then, every contiguous state around us will have something, and we're scared to death, and all of our Tennesseans will run somewhere else, our business has gone somewhere else, and we don't have a regulated, lab-tested product that has predictability for our sick patients. Right now is the time to do it. And you have to educate all these new people coming in because a lot of them oh, are coming yeah. in with no more knowledge about it. Than well, they still believe else. in reefer madness. They don't realize that that's a lie that we believed our whole life. If this came up to the floor today, do you have the votes in the House? Absolutely. In the House, we have the votes. So you have That's 50 the neat votes. thing. We have, we have more than 50 votes in the House. What about the Senate? You have 17 We're there? struggling. If it came to the Senate floor, yes, we'd have 17 votes, but navigating through certain committees. But we're working. We're not going to move it till March. We have, some, we have some tricks up our sleeve, if you will, some good, viable human beings who are coming on board and being a part of this, and they're going to start working our Senate members. Can I share your people tricks? That are, no, sir. People that are respectable <laughs> human beings that we all love, that you know and love, and they are considering coming on board 
and sharing their reasons why they would be for this, it's not done. There's a good chance that we have a strong path, a clear path to victory in the House and the Senate. So you start this first in the House because you think you've got the votes. Where is your problem in the House committees? What's the key vote you've got to get in committee in order to get it to the floor? So to pass? it would start in Criminal Justice Committee, and we believe that we have a simple majority in in the criminal justice Not a committee. subcommittee first. Yeah, no, it's a subcommittee. subcommittee. We believe that we have the the simple majority, probably just one over half, and the sub and the full. Then after at least sub criminal and and full criminal, then it would go to health committee, full health. We we I believe after looking and talking that I'm I'm two votes in the positive in full health. And then finance. And then, that, well, right? the beautiful thing in finance, when you get to finance, they're looking at the the money aspect. My mm -hmm. my gosh, we're going to have a very handsome fiscal note on this that is beneficial to Tennessee. These guys up here argue about a million dollars at the end of the year, what we're going to do with a million dollars. They're going to get to really figure out what we're going to do with lots of millions of dollars once we get this bill to finance. So you're going to see very positive affection to this bill in the House. And when that happens, our friends working on our friends in the Senate, they're going to have to do something. Tennessee's asking for it. The people are calling. I'll tell you an example. One of my friends is from Memphis. Last year, he was a hell no. Am I allowed to say that? He mm -hmm. was a heck no. He was big time against it. And he's like, Jeremy, there's no way I'm before it. He sat down beside me last week and he said, Jeremy, I'm going to have to be for your bill. I said, what do you mean you have to be for my bill? He said, everybody in Memphis is calling me. I ha he said, I, I thought I'd vote against it, but if it comes to, to me, I, I, I have to vote for it. I'd lose if I didn't vote for it. That's what's happening. Representative Jerry Faison is our, Jeremy Faison is our guest. He's the sponsor of the medical cannabis only bill, medical marijuana. Back to continue our fascinating discussion with him after these after these messages.